All right, so welcome back to episode number 11 of the Road to Supersonic Legend series. We actually just made gold one in the last episode in episode number 10, where we talked about how to move up in these ranks and really improve and, uh, you know, reach this middle echelon or average echelon of the Rocket League ranks, which I believe is gold three or platinum one uh, from the last distribution from last rank from last season. But last season, I mean, last episode, you guys want me to be named I accidentally. So when I score, it says I accidentally scored, which is probably true because in this in this series, as you guys know, I am not trying to score. I'm trying to let my teammates uh, be set up for me and then they come in and clean it up. Uh, but they didn't give me a photo to use. So I just used <laughs> oopsie whoopsie meme, as you can see. It's very, very tiny in the bottom left corner. But uh, we're jumping into the first games here. We're currently in gold one division two and uh, we'll see how these games go. We'll see if we can push into gold two. Hopefully, hopefully no one suspects anything here from my name, but <laughs> it's pretty funny looking. Maybe some people who are following the series will see my name and be like, oh, that's something that was recommended because it was it was a huge like amount. It was around a thousand something uh, of people that wanted this name. And uh, right here, I'm going to just jump up and pop off the backboard, see my teammate come in. Go Chites, trying to look for a spot here, close. Pop it around to the corner. I don't want to do anything too crazy. I'm going to steal that boost. Make sure that when you're in that corner and you're you're making that challenge, you grab that boost to starve your opponents. Go Chite's gonna stay on the ball here. Two players up. I'm gonna move back a little bit, let them pressure. They're backing off, so I'm gonna jump out for this. Teammate's still not back though. I accidentally uh, saved that. But let's see what my teammate wants to do. It's a really tight rotation. You can see he's actually not doing anything useful by being so close. Let the ball bounce first and then make a play. I'm gonna hit this for left. That worked out really well. This could be difficult for them. Oh! Levi's FPS. Unfortunate miss there. But a great chip on my teammate. So a little bit of a chip. You can see how uh, valuable or dangerous those are against the uh, the opponents when you just pop the ball high. And uh, if you watched my uh, one, one Supersonic Legend versus seven Plats, you know that the aerial game was a little bit scarier, but still the plan was to keep the ball high and keep it away from the opponents. And if you can do that at this rank, if you can pop the ball or just learn in free play to pop the ball like this, you can see how dangerous that is. They just get confused immediately. They're like, okay, where do I go? So just learn how to pop the ball high, get really good power underneath the ball, and uh, you'll you'll see yourself move up quite quickly. But also, I hope you guys enjoyed the, uh, the capture the flag video yesterday. That was a lot of work to get that map working. Uh, that was a little bit advanced. I need to slow down. When I, when I autopilot, <laughs> when I autopilot, you can see it changes a lot. Uh, in my level of gameplay, like I'm just jumping off the walls and doing wave dashes. Okay, teammate missed here. I want to, I want to back that up and move in. The second he misses, I'm gonna sit behind my teammate now. But yeah, I hope you, I hope you guys enjoyed that uh, capture the flag episode. Uh, that map was a, a really fun time to make. I just had com complete creative freedom, uh, with basically making the obstacles, and I also learned how to sculpt the the outside, like the outside landscape. It's a good challenge from them. So we're jumping back into the gameplay here. Go Chites on the ball. A little bit slow here, but he does pop into the corner. And Slugger misses as well. I'm not going to go in for this until my teammate's in a spot where I can pop it around like this. And hopefully my teammate can rush across. It's a good save by Slugger, though. All right, so this is still pretty dangerous to go on. Now it's open space. I won't shoot it on target, but I'll put it to the corner just to give us some space. 69, by the way. Thank you, Go Chite. Appreciate it. Oh! It's a pretty good setup. A little dangerous because my teammate's still pretty slow. I'll move out here and conserve my boost. You can see as I go down this boost line, I can get full boost. Good chip on my teammate as well. I'll pop off the corner here. Go tight. My turn early, which could work out. Bit of a miss though. I'll turn early and pop it around once again. Just staying relevant. You don't want to move all the way back. Interesting play by my teammate here. Oh, not sure what he wants to do, but I'll pop it over. You see how much power you can get just by hitting that ball underneath. Now, this is precarious situation i'll just wait for that to uh to happen once again just sitting in mid you can see how i'm just watching the ball right here levi's has possession so i want to back off and make sure i let him touch the ball and then i want to try and stay with this slugger ended up missing but go take and come in here and make a touch now okay never mind <laughs> uh never mind so i'm gonna land with this and just pop it go tight wants in on it as well now this this might be okay. I was gonna say this might be in. 
That's a good flick right here. It's going to bounce up and then off that corner. I want to make sure I'm around by that, that point in time. And then I can get a good clear like that. Once again, look how, how much those bo high booming clears just give us so much space in the field. And it's not too much work. Right here, I can see that they're, they're working with uh, the ball a little bit. So right there, once again, just using that, that corner of my car like that and smashing the bottom corner of the, the ball. It's a good chance here. Bit of a miss. Now, I would say that the opponents look a little cleaner than my teammate. Just a little bit. But here, I'm going to collect the ball and take it to the corner. Alright, that's decent, but it actually sends it middle for them. If they were a higher level player, they would have been ready for that. And that would have actually like been really bad for me. I'm just going to pop that off the back. Oh. Nice try. If he was just ready for that miss and just played that, that position, he could have got a free open shot. But... Okay, I'm going to 50 this. It's going to bounce right here, so I'm just going to stay in mid. Popped over. My teammate's very, very lost. One thing I'm just staying with this ball in the corner. Out. Eh. So I'm gonna stay with this and pop it out. See what my teammate does. This could be good for him. Nice try. Just shoot it far wide. Oh. <laughs> oh no, my teammate's jumping. Okay, I was just kind of messing around there, but. That's a good clear. That should solidify the game here. Slugger might not be able to do much. And he puts it down. But do get the first win. Sorry if that game was a little bit lackluster on the, the commentary. I was talking a lot about like what else is going on in, in my channel. I know a lot of people maybe follow just for learning how to rank up and stuff. But, oh, what's he going to say? Little does he know. <laughs> well, we're getting to the next game. Let's, uh, let's see how the next game goes. We didn't rank up at all, but hopefully Division 3 comes around the corner. All right, so we're getting a faster gameplay, as you can tell, throughout these episodes. We're we're already in the, the decade of episodes, but as we move through these games, it should be faster paced, which means maybe uh, I can move a little faster as well, um, and maybe the games will go by a little quicker too. So I don't want to like make this series super long, but I do want to make sure I'm explaining every rank to help out everybody in those ranks. Because I'm uh, on my Twitch, by the, by the way, uh, left me underscore RL if you want to go follow on there. Um, I'll get a lot of questions about... Hey, I'm in diamond. How do I? Do you have any specific ranks for that that rank? And I honestly think this is gonna be like the thing I reference to. I'm just gonna say, okay, go watch, go watch uh, an episode where I'm in diamond because I think I'll probably be the best to explain what I'm doing here. Right here, I'm last, so I don't want to challenge that. You can see that I actually fake it, get a solid clear, a little bit of a bump. Chef Remo or Remo gets the possession. Well, pretty dangerous challenge here, but I know that I can get a pretty decent play off of it and move behind my teammate. Right here, it could go over his head. I'm gonna wait for him. It's not a great touch because it goes back to them, as you can see. And right here, I can pop it to the corner. He didn't land properly. It's kind of hard, so I'm not gonna hit this. Like I said, I'm gonna fake the challenges and fake aerials that seem pretty difficult at this rank. But if you learn how to go off the walls, you can uh, start to. Oh. Let's see if it opens it. Come on, get there. Good save. Um, as I was saying, you wanna make sure you get used to those wall hits going to training. See how you do. Teammate is not in a good position at all. He's kind of just flopping. Don't do this, what he's doing right now. He's just doing whatever. I don't, I don't even know. He's just zigzagging in front of the net. Rotate. Get around. Make sure you get in mid. This could be a good shot. Close. So he's still on it. Maybe a little bit careful. Still has it. There we go. Now he threw it away. So that now we have a possession. Teammate did give it away, though, and this is a pretty hard situation. I am dead. It's a good flick as well. Good clear to the side. The second I see that the ball's coming in, don't grab that corner boost. Make sure you just rush forward. Gonna hit that forward. See if my teammate can get in mid. This could be pretty difficult for them, but also difficult for my teammate. <laughs> Who does get it mid? Okay, I'm gonna do something fancy here where I pop it in mid and make him score. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say nice one. You know, I'll make it seem like a mistake, but I didn't really want to score this, so instead I just pop it and uh, give it to him. So, so far, haven't had to showcase the name I accidentally scored. We're going to keep that going. We're going to see if the entire, the entire episode... Oh! He's stopped moving. Uh, Mayday. <laughs> We've lost our teammate. Nice. He's back. See what see see what Jesus of Nazareth can do. That's a pretty dangerous touch, but my teammate, I mean the uh, the opponent is not landing properly. 
All right. Chef still technically has it, but teammate Nixter is coming in. Once again, just surveying that mid is what we talked about before. If you haven't missed, seen the other episodes. Okay, good. And there we go. Good finish. Um, as we talked about the early episodes about that midfield presence. That's how I'm getting all these advantages and just positions to hit the ball around. I'm not doing too anything, anything too crazy. Just positioning in a good spot to cover as many options. And it's all about decision making. You could be a player with no mechanics. Oh, he still doesn't want to go for kickoff. That's okay. So I don't know what this guy's doing, but seems like he's he's chilling. So we're gonna chill as well. Let's just uh hang out with him for a little bit here. Oh, he's back. <laughs> All right, let's save the ball real quick. What's up, Nixer? How you doing? <laughs> They're taking their sweet time over there, but we fi <laughs> they finally scored. I'm not really sure what Nixter's doing. But uh, he seems to be just preoccupied, maybe. The problem is he's our main source of scoring. So if he's gone, that we might be screwed. It's a good shot. It's a good save. It's a little bit advanced, but as you can see, I just timed the aerial. This guy's whack, man. What the heck? This guy's so weird. I don't know what's going on. I Is this how this guy plays? What? <laughs> what is going on? I think we have a teammate going rogue here. I'm going to be honest with you. If he doesn't go for this kickoff, I think he's going rogue. Okay, I honestly don't know. I don't I don't quite follow what is happening here. Pop it up. Teammate is diving in. Let's see if he uh, comes back here. Good for him to grab the boost first. It's pretty difficult. I'll make sure I touch this. I'm not going to put it on target. Teammate's coming in. Close. I see that I beat the opponent, so I want to clear it at the side. It's pretty dangerous here. Got to wait for the flick. Missed the boost. It's okay, though. Oh, my. Oh! We almost lost. We almost lost. And you know that's okay. Let's see if Nixer wants to get in here. He needs to be being present in midfield. It's a good try. See if he stays with it. Oh, the flick right there. Oh, let's go. He redeemed himself. Okay. The rogue player was not actually rogue. I just don't know what happened to him. He just disappeared for a little bit. But he finished it off for us. Not having to score. It's perfect. Carried from the bottom. Actually, yeah, he did carry from the bottom. Look at that. We still got 30 seconds left. 13 seconds left, though. I actually thought the game was over. If I'm going to be honest with you. I thought it was overtime. So, continue my momentum to get that corner boost. Move by my teammate. It's a good shot towards target. Close. He's carrying. Ha! Oh! <laughs> what? No way. He just, he just snatched that VIP from me or MVP. I cannot believe that. That guy came down and saved that ball at the last second. I, I just have no words. He beat me by one point. So we do our, we do get Division 3. We'll move on to the next game. Hopefully we move into Division 4 by the end of this episode. Now we got Tuck Zetro versus Chunt Man and Beast. Honestly, I'm a little worried about that one name. Just because it's very dangerously close to something else. Once again, just sit it right underneath the ball right here. Stay with it. And flick. See if they can get the ball here. Good save. Okay, he's going back, so I'm going to get in and, and pop this middle for him. Not quite ready for it. That's okay. This is a high pop. I don't think he's going to turn on that, so now I'm going to stay with this. Teammate is just something. <laughs> he's something else, man. Look at him go. <laughs> uh, let's see what he's got. That's a good pop middle. I'll pop it up. Should be a save. Good save. Right here. I'm just going to pop it around and then turn. Yep. I'm going to ignore the fact that he existed there. Uh, 
and wait for them to clear. We got a, we got a someone defaulting in net. Uh, Beast FNX back there. And definitely not a valuable strategy. It's a strategy, but... Let's see if my teammate gets in mid for this. That's a good try. Uh, a little upset that he missed that one, as you can see. <laughs> but maybe... Maybe he will... Move. Maybe he'll move on this one. Oh, he's back. And they scored. <laughs> and I accidentally scored. Woo. What is this episode? <laughs> I got teammates who just don't want to play the game, I guess. I feel your pain, guys. Anybody that's in low gold here. It's a good save. I'm just going to sit with this ball. 57. Hit it forward. Let my teammate get up there. Go for it, Zetro. Oh. Now this is a precarious situation for them. Oh. Wait, he's kind of nuts. Okay, once again, he still has possession. He kind of just stopped moving, though. And that's when he loses possession. It's a good try. Zetro. Once again, just... Passing it off to me, of course. That's what he's doing. Pop it around. You know, Zetro's dealing with high ping, but I don't know if his if it's his console. So let's I guess he's not moving again. So I'll put it in this cor the corner and I'm gonna take this boost too, because that guy's behind me trying to get the boost. Good clear my teammate. Let's see if he goes for this. It's a good try. <laughs> Definitely scorable. I should be scoring that, obviously, but uh, you don't want to don't want to be accidentally scoring here. It's a good turn from them. A loop pretty wide here, pretty fast. That's good. I want to be ready for this mid. Got a solid 50-50. Wait for Zetro, maybe. See him. See him in front of me. Oh, he's a little bit worried. Good 50 50. Once again, we're going to be ready in middle midfield for this. This could be open. It's a good try. I'm going to go all the way back here. So I'm going to jump off the wall and get back. Leave that mood boot, mid boost for mood boost for my teammate. Awkward ball in the corner. Teammate is struggling a little bit, but I'll just stay with the ball. Once again, just staying close. Zetro sitting right behind me. It's not a very good position to be in if you're right behind. As you can Oh, hello. So once again, just noticing that uh, my teammate wants to cut in front, which is fine. I'll just stay behind. Good hit from him on the side. I have a free clear now, so I want to get behind. And now I'm going to clear it to the side again. Just once again, just back on my teammate. I don't know how my teammate wants to play or if he's going to even exist on the field because he's disappeared quite a few times. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know what this is all. I don't know what this is all about. <laughs> so I can be here first. Good try. Good try, by everybody. Let's see what Beast has. Oh, he wants to forfeit. Like I just. What? What is happening? We're winning. <laughs> what? I've never been so confused in one of these episodes. Hello? Guys, I, I am actually left speechless. I don't think I've ever been so confused by a single action of a human being than that one. So let's pop it to the corner here. Let's see if they get him at final play. Can he do it? No, we can't. Nice try, though. That was, uh... What? I don't know what to say. I really don't know what to say. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. That was the strangest end to an episode of the Road to Supersonic Legend yet. Um, yeah. I don't know what was up with that guy. He must, must have been mad at me or something. I don't know. But, I hope you guys enjoyed regardless. Uh... 
that was an interesting series <laughs> series of events in that episode. But until next time, have a great day, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.